Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marty and this is Arts Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make, how I make a basic railway. So without further ado, let's uh, just proceed. So first we're going to make the starting plane what the railway will be based on. And I'm just going to do with the grid. grid. And so first you will need the dimensions of the railway i'll look it up already so the distance between the rail itself is uh 1.435 meters and i'm just going to enter that in the width 453 was it uh yeah 435 meters so that is done, then the length, I'll just make it like 10 meters long, so it should be fine. And now what we will need to do is that we convert to the edit poly, and now we will take the two edges and we will create a shape which will be rail itself, uh, make it linear, and by default it probably will be marked the smooth one. So linear, and then we press H on the keyboard, and we pick the rail, and then the rail should be selected, and we lift it up a little bit so you can see it, because it's going to be the same, it's going to be a part of uh, the plane, it's going to be inside the edges of the plane. So you separate that, and then you click on the uh, plane again and you choose the one in the middle the edge over here and we do the same we create the shape over here and we're gonna we're gonna call this one the sleeper because this is gonna be the sleepers between the rails I'm just gonna click OK and press H again and pick the sleeper so I'm just gonna lift this one up and separate them and now we're going to delete the plane because we won't need that anymore at least I think so and uh, yeah so now what we're going to do is that we're going to take the rail and what I'm going to be using is a sweep modifier over here and yeah pick the wide flange and this is going to be the rail uh, shape. So you can adjust it a little bit, uh, the adaptive interpolation, so it uh, smooths out the necessary edges, which are here. And I'm going to be, I'm, I'll make it a little thicker, something like this. And the corners a little smoother. Yeah, of course what you can do is uh, pick your own shape, you can uh, draw, you can uh, draw the shape of the rail itself and apply your custom uh, shape for the lines, but in this case I'm going to be doing it the basic way and without complicated shapes, so, but that, what, but that is something that you can do as well, so that is it for the shape itself and now uh, the sleepers so what, you, what you're gonna do is that take the box create a box something like that then it kind of looks a little big just gonna make it 22 centimeters and with uh, 150 centimeters nope a little too short 180 yep yeah, it's fine and the height I'll make it a little smaller 15 should be fine so in this case, it's just as long as it 
looks fine. 25 by 12. Yeah, this looks okay. And now, what we're gonna do, just take it away a little bit so it doesn't get in the way. And in this case, we click Shift I hotkeys and we click Pith Pick Path. And we choose the line over here. So, and the thing is that make sure to check follow box what that will do is that in case if your railway curves the left right up down whatever you whatever shape you're gonna have whatever track you're gonna have uh the follow will allow uh the uh sleepers to follow and curve uh, as well as your rail track will so why I have this line here is that this box over here is not properly positioned. So what you can do is that you click the rotation and make sure to turn on the snaps for the rotation and you rotate it by 90 degrees. And though this is a beauty, just click back on the window over here and boom, they're back. So yeah, every time they disappear, just click back on the window and they'll uh, reappear so count they seem too f too much far apart from each other you just add a little more so here you regulate how many of sleepers you want on the selected path uh, here is the spacing which I won't be using then the offsets of the start and the beginning and also here you can divide how you want them to be distributed within the line that you've picked the path and here make sure that you've checked the instance uh, so that whatever uh, modifications you will do on the initial box within the parameters, that that applies to the rest of the boxes that you've created. And then you just click apply. So now you will notice that they're not really positioned well, they're just basically inside the rail tracks. So what you're gonna do here is that you mark the initial box and you go to edit select similar and then click alt and unmark the initial one so only this are picked so what you're gonna do here is that you just name them something why isn't it making okay so after you name them just hit enter and now, whenever you need to select them, you just uh, come here and you just click on the sleepers, on the name that you've called them, and they're all selected. So just don't, don't mistake it with the group. It's not grouped. They're still individual objects, as you can see, but you sort of uh, gather them under the same name. So that will be useful if you want to reposition them all together. So what you're going to do is that just lower them a little bit not too much so they're still so the tracks are on the sleepers and yeah so that basically is it this is the let me just change the color it looks funny yeah so and this Make this gray or the other way around so basically this is it this is how it's gonna look and if for example you need a more detailed one of course it's gonna take more time but this is the quick and basic way how to make a railway and make sure to save it hit ctrl s and how to pre-create the file over here and just yeah and that is basically it, how to create the quick and basic railway. And then, of course, you're just going to delete this line. If you're going to delete it, it's fine. It, nothing's going to happen. Just click delete and that's it. But I prefer to keep the, uh, the paths in case if you may need it again. Like So what you can do is also you can just hide the selection. And that's it. And if you will need it again you may just unhide it and that's it so that's it 
So thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave the questions below. Have a good day.